welcome back to Smiles and a Bite. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through a chocolate dipped rice crispy treats uh, tutorial. Uh, this is kind of continuing on with like the mini series I've been doing of like easy chocolate dipped treats anyone can make and with like easy things to find. Um, in my last video I showed you the Michaels, well not the Michaels brand of candy melts, but the brand that they carry. So today, we're gonna use that same chocolate mixed with a bit of Merkins because this is chocolate I'm just gonna toss and throw away. And it's, it just, it's a blue candy malt color now. Um, there's three different ways that you can dip rice crispy, rice, rice crispy treats, or at least three ways that I've dipped them. Um, I know there's a mold that you can buy and use. I just, I feel like it's a waste. I know people that want those really nice sharp edges and like, a uniform shape they do that but I just think it creates a little bit too much chocolate around the treat itself so I don't like to do it but again if you do more power to you whatever is to your liking I use store-bought rice crispy treats um, one because it's more economical so if I were to make them I would probably charge more for chocolate dip treats um, just because it's more time um, more money invested and things like that so store-bought is the way to go for me at least that and it already comes in uniform sizes rather than me having to worry about using a certain pan um, cutting it a certain way and then ending up with scraps of rice crispy that I'm only gonna throw in the trash so the first way I'm gonna do is just the typical fully submerged Rice Krispie Treat, um, you can dip your your lollipop stick in chocolate before inserting into the Rice Krispie Treat. I've never done it. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's just an extra step. Sure, it could possibly make it a little bit more stable, but I've never had an issue with it. So I'm just going to fully dip it. Sometimes I like to leave the tops exposed and others I cover them. Really just depends on the look, how much chocolate you want, how much you don't. And you're just lightly tap. And I like to rotate it as I'm tapping, just so I'm not causing too much pressure on any one side. And I potentially avoid causing the rice crispy treat to fall off the sticker. Kind of collapse on itself. And then I go back over just to make sure all the sides are smooth and there's no like drips from the chocolate. I like to scrape the bottom and the sides just enough to where I know it's not going to drip off, not where I'm exposing the rice crispy itself. And then I set it down. set one of my favorite ways to decorate rice crispy treats especially if it's for a themed party like a superhero or something that uses a specific image or a specific character i like to use edible images so these are um left over from an order from last week um when i have extra edible images i like to store them in a ziploc baggie um or i seal them in a bag and that'll keep them fresh so I like to put these on the Rice crispy Treats, on any treats, even cakes. Um, and I think it's a great way to decorate and add a bit of extra detail without having to do a crazy amount of extra work. Yes, it's an added cost, but in the end, it does end up looking nice. I get mine printed from a local cake supply store. If you don't have access to that, there are people on Etsy um, that sell edible images you can find someone that sells them online like on instagram i have a friend um ashley busy mama she's in rancho rancho Cucamonga, and she sells edible images so you can order them and have them mailed to you you just have to be careful with like things like heat and stuff like that and have to make sure you know how to store it and i'll do a separate video on how i edit 
my edible images on how I store them and how I keep them for long or extended periods of time. I could do diff a different color, but I like to do the drizzles in the same color, unless it's, again, a themed party, just because I think it looks nice that way. So I'm just gonna drizzle. Nothing fancy, just straight across. And because the chocolate isn't fully set, you can't really, there's no clear definition between it. Images, but if you wanted to go the extra mile, you can find some of them in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye!